Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, and as promised, here is the onion ring recipe. Um, in a small bowl, you're going to put in a half a cup of flour. You're going to add a quarter cup of cornstarch. And I've already put those in my bowl. You're going to add two tablespoons of Yes, mashed potato flakes. You heard me. That's one. And two tablespoonfuls. This is just instant mashed potatoes. It can be any brand. Um, these onion rings are going to come out so well and crunchy. You will not go back to any other recipe. Trust me. Okay. So we're going to throw all that into a bowl. And we're going to add a cup of buttermilk. And we're just going to put that in there. You're just going to whisk it all together. Right now, this batter um, looks a little bit runny, but we're going to let it sit while we get our other ingredients together. And it will thicken up um, those mashed potatoes. The flakes will help with it thickening. And then also that cornstarch. So just mix, mix, mix. Get it well combined. You can kind of see it. It's already getting thick. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to move on to our second coating, and that's the bread breadcrumbs that we did in the prior video. Um, about a cup or so, depending on how many you plan on making. Um, and then some salt to taste. And I just put in just a little bit. You can also re-salt these once they come out of the oil. around a little. Okay. Now, in the meantime, you want to heat your oil to 350 on, on about medium. You can use any kind of oil that you'd like. Um, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to chop into rings. I use medium yellow onions. You're just going to chop a couple of those up into rings. Um, you're going to cut the bottoms off um, and then slice it this way into about quarter inch thick rings or so. You don't want to do more than a quarter inch thick. So I've already done that and I have my rings, my rings right here. And we got our two mixtures. We have our oil preheating. And what we're going to do is we are going to dip we're going to dip the onions just a couple and you can see how thick that already is um, into the batter it's going to help those crumbs stay on there and just do a couple at a time it's fine just flip them over. Make sure it all gets coated. And then you're going to take your onion rings and actually, I should have done this with a different fork. That's okay. We can fix that easily. And you're just going to coat your onion with your breadcrumb and salt. Okay. And just to kind of show 
show you guys a couple of these. This batter is nice and thick. It makes it for some very good onion rings. And just trash your crumbs. Flip it over. Just make sure you get it really, really well. And just gonna do a couple more here. If you guys have other recipes you may try out, leave me a comment. Um, and uh, we'll definitely do that. If you have some suggestions, please feel free leave those for me as well. You can also use uh, panko breadcrumbs, which are the Japanese style breadcrumbs, and they've got a really awesome flavor. And you can use those as well. Those are just in your supermarket. Do this, um, and you're just gonna kind of place them in as you go. I'll get a few here just so that you guys can see that. All right, so nice and coated. I'm going to move you guys over here to the pan that I've had to be heating with the oil. Okay. And then you're just gonna drop them in. It was nice and hot and ready to go. These are good as just snacks. You can do these for parties. Um, pretty much any occasion. Just want to make sure that your oil is not turned up too, too high. And just like I said, a couple couple minutes on each side. That's until they're golden brown. And then you're just going to take them out and place them on a baking mat. the best course of action would just be a fork and all. And then all easiness here. And you just want to lay them out. I'll show you guys a couple more here.
you can keep going until you run out of batter um, and mix. Um, you can, I mean, you know, this recipe has a lot of options. So. But you guys, have you ever noticed with onion rings, after they sit for just a few minutes, they get all soggy on you. These certainly won't do that, and I'll show you that in just a second here. you guys and we're just gonna throw them in and fry for a couple minutes until they're golden brown. And these smell so good, guys. I don't think you can smell them, but ooh, if you could. Alright. And then you're just gonna flip them if they need to be. If not, just take them out. Let's put this little guy over. doing enough to plate these up so that you guys can see what they look like because like I said they are truly awesome. So good, and they smell awesome, and they're really, really easy. There you go, guys. And let me set those down for you. Um, I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but I'm gonna take a bite of one.
Mm. I grabbed a hot one. Those are awesome, wonderful, and really, really good. Um, very crunchy. Hear that? Very crunchy. So anyway, please try and let me know what you think. Thanks.